All right, it's time for another DLC, and uh, this time around, I'm very sorry for the sound, but I'm in a hotel room. As always, uh, DLCs get dropped when I'm not at home and I don't have time to do it. But uh, here we are with a new DLC, and this could be called the Rudy DLC because finally we got me. We got the camel, the dromedary camel. I've I've waited for that for such a long time. Um, it is going to be the Arid DLC. It's another annual pack that was basically... Uh, expected um, at the very least after two packs again that have been focused on thinner and stuff this time around it's gonna be uh, animals and I'm gonna read these animals out in a bit uh, because they are pretty much nice uh, we've got a good roster of new animals but first of all let's have a look at these animals that we have in the wonderful trailer already so we do have the wonderful dromedary camel as you can see over here uh, I love this one to bits obviously because it's me uh, I mean that makes sense but also also because it is a very good model you can see there are a lot of different um, skin patterns that we have around very neat very good I'm a huge fan of this because I feel like uh, they've done a stellar job yet again at the shading and stuff like that I think it's better to not put them next to the background camel because obviously uh, that would make the background camel look a little bit bad. Seriously, the dromedary is the better camel. Um, <laughs> I am a bit biased here, maybe. But also, um, I gotta admit, this makes sense because of the spitting behavior. I'm quite, so, uh, quite sure that this wonderful dromedary camel over here does spit as well. But if we go further, there is another animal that I know of that a lot of people have been uh, craving for. Not the gazelle over here. This one looks very cool as well. The horns are pretty good. Is, are they even called horns? I don't know. Maybe this is again um, <laughs> my expertism uh, shining through. But no, I have no idea if these are horns. But they look very good. I gotta admit though, we have quite some gazelles all, all over the place. So it's not like that super and you know amazing in terms of very nice gazelles and stuff like that. But it's very good. But this one over here, the Procupine. This is an animal that so so many people have requested and from the first looks it seems like we got a very nice new model. I mean just just look at that okay. This one looks freaking amazing. I can't say anything else. This looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna move this thing over here so you have a better look at this. The Procupine looks really really good. Um, finally an animal like that with all the uh, just such a different type of shading, such a different type of a behavior with the hairs and stuff. I really, really do love it. It looks fantastic. Absolutely loving. Um, and also, like if you see the little tongue wiggle over there, really nice. And I think what people will love especially is the fact that they don't look too cartoony. Um, they really nailed the realistic look of them. I do think this is the right way to go. And I'm really, really happy that Frontier did choose to go that way. But unfortunately, that's already all we can have a look at. Like, we get another nice view here of the dromedary camel. One is drinking to the right hand side, but you can see the different types of patterns here. It's a very whitish one with a lot of. I'm, I'm not sure if that's even the uh, melanistic one, or not the melanistic, the albinism one, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, and you've got a different shading here, this, you know, a very much more pronounced. Uh, you know, a pattern over here while the other ones are a bit less. And then, you know, also I, I like the background a lot. This seems to be like a very, maybe they have a new texture in here. I'm not, I'm, there is a new scenario, but I'm not sure if that's that one. At least from the distance, the texture looks very good. I'm not sure if they have changed anything, but I remember that once you have a big kind of boulder like that, the texture easily gets a little bit repetitive, which it doesn't seem to be in that case. But yeah, that's just me guessing. I think it's nothing to really pay too much attention to. But here you have another look at this wonderful dromedary camel over here. Look, it's really good. And we even have the transition effect uh, made out of dromedary camels. But that's that, and I think the most important info we've got over here while another camel is just following up is the coming and 20th of June. So that means from now on a good two weeks until we can get our hands and hooves, in my case, uh, onto the game. But yeah, let's go through all of the animals that we do get with this update before we end this video, um, because there's a lot of different animals we haven't talked about, so we should definitely do now. 
All right, so as promised, we have to talk about the animals. So we already saw the dromedary camel and the African crested porcupine, but there are more. There is the adax, which is the actual animal we've already seen in the game, and I have wrongly connected to the gazelle, which it wasn't, um, because we also have the dama gazelle, which we haven't seen in the trailer yet, but we also do have the Somali wild ass, which is kind of a donkey kind of animal. We have the black rhino, which um, is pretty much known, I guess, uh, so not too surprising and we do have uh, two more cool animals which is the sand cat i'm very excited to see the sand cat it's a, such a cute little animal um, i have absolutely not expected and we also have the desert horned viper so um i'm gonna be very honest with you i think it's a decent roster which is not getting me too super excited because I have the feeling that Africa is a little bit overrepresented in the game as of now and we have so many other animals that would deserve a spot in the game. I think the dromedary and the crested porcupine is pretty pretty damn good. Um, but since they didn't call it like specifically Africa pack or the desert pack and they called it arid pack, I have the feeling there could have been a little bit more versatility in there. Um, it's not, you know, we, we have to see, but they specifically named that there will be a lot of new animation with those animals introduced to the game. So I'm very excited for those. There's also going to be a new scenario and we have not to forget about all the brilliant new stuff that comes with the new update, just like Flexicolor stuff, which for me personally is a big deal. Um, the camera toggle as well is a huge deal and um, not even speaking of the spitting behavior. <laughs> sorry but yeah you get the point um that's that i think this is all good for now i really hope you enjoyed today's episode even though the sound quality was a little bit off i promise the next one will be better again but until then have a wonderful time thank you so much uh for the follow and if you didn't follow thank you so much for watching but uh that's that yeah have a good time and i'll talk to you in the next one with better audio quality promised <laughs>